Who needs enemies when you have friends like this? Sadie had this boyfriend and like one day, I don't, I just ended up making out with him. It was really terrible of me. You are dating your old friend's ex-girlfriend. Yeah. You know how they say keep your enemies close but your friends closer? That don't sound right. You know how they say keep your friends close but your enemies closer? They probably meant that for people like these. So I found this Jubilee video called Best Friends Get Brutally Honest. And after watching this video, it boggles my mind because I don't know how people could stay friends with someone that stabbed them in the back. It's not like this is the movies. This ain't One Tree Hill. You don't have to have the same cast and let all of them sleep with each other and become boyfriend and girlfriend and then cheat on each other and still somehow stay friends the whole entire series. This is not that. <laughs> This is real life, man. This is real life. Let's take this video from Cut as an example. So this man ended up dating his best friend's ex. We used to be friends, and I kind of want to like rekindle our relationship. You could rekindle these nuts. You are dating your old friend's ex-girlfriend. Yeah. What do you want to talk to him about? I want to talk to him about like how he feels. Felt like he got stabbed in the back. That's probably how he feels. Why did you go for my ex-girlfriend? It wasn't like I was trying to steal her from you or anything. One day I just hit her up. I was trying to like find people to call because I felt like I was alone for a long time. You could have came and hollered at me, you know? Yeah. Exactly. You see the way he rubbed his nose? He knew he was full of shit. Oh my God. He shit everywhere. There's shit everywhere! He had a best friend that he could call on if he was really lonely. But this man was probably plotting from the start. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> He could have called up anybody else in the world, but oh, shit, let me call my best friend's girlfriend. And at the end of the video, they end up getting back cool. But me personally, I would not tolerate that level of disrespect. If my friend ever did that, we are fighting to the death, man. This is Sparta! Because every time you see them together, you're going to be reminded of that betrayal your best friend and your ex. And here's another instance. So this video is also from Cut. It's called, Can Ex Best Friends Forgive Each Other? When did you know our friendship was over? Mm. Oh man. You still answer your question? Oh yeah. Well you fucked my girlfriend. Yep, that will do it. It's just a dramatic silence before he said that shit. My guy's hurt, and with good reason. So let's see what she has to say for herself. I don't know, dude, I was just sad and fucking... She was always there. It's like the availability aspect of it. Conveniently. Conve like, Conveniently oh, dude. Slept with. You know how I fucking was back then, too. Yeah. You know, partying and fucking, you know. Imagine if your wife told you a year after y'all got married that she actually cheated on you before the wedding. And then her excuse was, well, you know how I was back then. Bitch, you was my fiance. What you mean I knew why he was back then? What kind of apology is that, bro? How is, how is that supposed to make me feel? This makes me feel like I want to punch you in the face. All right, but anyways, man, let's get back to the main stars of this video. So here we have Sadie and Eve. They have been best friends for 10 years. And we've been best friends for over 10 years. She went to Ireland for a year. And when she came back, we went to middle school together. And you would think that 10 years of friendship would prevent them from stabbing each other in the back. Hey, ladies, split decision is about one thing finding deep and meaningful truth. So in this video, they're gonna be asked a series of questions and they have to answer it with a yes or no by standing on the appropriate sign. And the first question is, I'm the more intelligent one in the friendship. Make your split decisions in three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> All right, go ahead and turn around. <laughs> okay. Hannah, Caitlin, you yeah, both think yeah. you're the more intelligent one? Yeah, we always say this. I think Caitlin has more street smarts. I have more like classroom book smarts. I have been... a 4.0 though. Okay. So. <laughs> All right, so this video has nothing to do with these two girls right here, but I just wanted to point out that just because you have a 4.0, a bachelor's degree, master's degree, PhD, it doesn't mean that you have a high IQ because you don't need to be smart to have a 4.0. You just need to be willing to do the work. So this reminded me of a video I saw where people had to rank themselves in intelligence. And this one girl with a PhD thought she would be the smartest. To me, I don't know, PhD, <laughs> cancer biology <laughs> scientist. I work in a biotech company. We make COVID-19 testing kit. Blah, 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 shut the fuck up. But it turns out that she was actually the one with the lowest IQ. So number one is Raymond. Number two would be Kaylee. Number three will be Tyler, 
and number four would be Shera. Number five is Sean, and number six is Maria. <laughs> <laughs> now back to the topic at hand, man. The next prompt is we have hooked up with the same person. <laughs> and this is where the backstabbing begins. To the fucking. Yes, to the fucking. Sadie had this boyfriend and like they were so off and on and then like one day I don't I just ended up making out with him. It was really terrible of me. It's so shady. So one day she just ended up falling on the dick. All right, next time when I cheat on my girl, I'm I'm faithful, man. Black men don't cheat. But next time if I do cheat, I'm just gonna say it. I accidentally fell in some pussy. You know what I'm saying? Don't hold it against me. I, it was an accident. I slipped and fell. And then he... We were together. It wasn't an ex-boyfriend. It was your boyfriend. Well, yeah. she thought we were broken up, but we had gotten back together that morning. <laughs> yeah. Well, how did that feel for you when you um, found out? Well, actually, I found out like a year later. And instead of confronting a friend for being weird for telling her a year later, she puts the blame on the boyfriend. He was really manipulative, and he convinced her that if she told... She wanted to tell me like the next day when she found out we got back together. So he basically said like, if you tell her, She's gonna stay with me and she's gonna cut you off forever. So you obey the guy that you've been kissing to lie to your best friend of 10 years for 365 days with a smile. That's crazy. I walk on a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. So after this whole incident, Sadie ends up making out with Eve's boyfriend this time. What did you say, nigga? Yeah, so Eve had a boyfriend in high school. Yeah. And for three years. So notice how she had to point out that it was three years. And for then, three years. That girl was hurt. And I had another friend there and he kept, her ex kept like leaning over to my friend and being like, Sadie looks so pretty. I haven't seen Sadie in so long. She looks so good. Just look at her face, man. She looks more hurt than Sadie, even though she started this shit first. And so my friend was like, okay, well, I'll take a picture. Kiss me on the cheek, both of you. And then we leaned in to kiss her on the cheek and he whispered, put your head back. And so she put you her head back. You didn't actually tell me Oh, I think he whispered it to her. Oh, um, He funny. likes to put your head back. Then See, that stutter, that girl was livid right now. Um, he likes to The passive aggressiveness is strong within this one like we kissed because my eyes were closed for yeah. the picture so then we kissed and then we like kissed a little bit and i was you like you like kept kissing yeah but that like for like a, and then i was like wait yeah what the because i was like drunk <laughs> 19. not it and then i called her the next day and i told her and yeah. then you know at least sadie was decent enough to tell her the next day instead of telling her a year later we got over it <laughs> yeah Very good. bro just look at eve's face man she ain't over shit she is mad right now were, were you mad I was super pissed. I just felt really betrayed, I guess. Huh. Ain't that a bitch. Wonder how your friend felt when you did the same shit. But then, at the same time, like, it made me realize how you felt when I did that to you, so... Karma will come back to bite you in the ass. And the plot actually thickens, guys. It gets worse. <laughs> the next prompt is... There's a part of our friendship that still needs healing. Oh, Eve, let's start with you. <laughs> um... I guess just talking about those things that happened with each other's exes, I could see that we both got pretty... I, I just know you. Translation, I'm about to be petty as fuck because you low-key just hurt my feelings, and I'm about to say something to hurt your feelings as well. But now, clearly, it seems that Eve feels some type of way, and she wants to one-up. So she admits that there's actually more to the situation. It's the fact that I don't think I told you everything. Surprise, surprise. She lied for 365 days. What made you think she won't lie again? And I feel like I need to. So there's something you need to tell her? Not right. I mean, <laughs> well, yeah, I guess I can say it here, but yeah, I mean. Yeah, that's the I'm about to fuck your life up look right there. Eve is not afraid to get petty and dirty. She's actually the more toxic of the two. Eve, <laughs> Eve can be really toxic in her romantic relationships. Okay. So like, the, Eve has like, broken into an ex's no! <laughs> So pretty much Eve has done some toxic shit in her relationships like broken into her boyfriend's house when she couldn't find him So now she's about to reveal some shit that will make you judge her character even more man It did happen multiple times It oh. wasn't just one time Yeah, okay <laughs> Okay, okay And what do you think Sadie's gonna do? Yes, you guessed it Blame it on the ex, man But like I don't He's, like, yeah, everything happened multiple times with him, okay. you know? Like, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> you could tell Sadie is hurt and embarrassed, but she still tries to make her friend look good. 
even though she doesn't deserve it. This, is it, this isn't news to you? No, this isn't news to me. He was a repeat offender on many things. She's trying her hardest to make this man sound like a pedophile just to not hold her friend accountable. That is crazy. I'm not shocked that that happened more than once. I'm also not shocked that she did it more than once. Not because I don't trust you, because he's incredibly manipulative. Translation, she thinks her friend is a hoe, but she does not want to say that on camera. So Sadie, you didn't know that Eve hooked up with your ex multiple times? Not really. I suspected, but suspected. I did. I suspected. I suspected that it happened more than once. They were good friends. They were around each other when I wasn't around a lot, but. So it seems to me that Eve is the most narcissistic one in this relationship. Sadie has been trying to defend her this whole time by putting all the blame on her ex, even though the ex isn't the only one to blame because Eve was clearly the culprit in the situation as well. She has chosen to lie to her best friend for a year straight. And the lie wasn't even over. She just admitted in front of millions of people on YouTube that she had an ongoing affair. I mean, it did happen multiple times. It oh. wasn't just one time. Yeah. Which worse embarrasses her friend. So that just goes to show me that when Sadie was explaining her side of events, Eve got mad. She got emotional and now she wants Sadie to feel worse. She wants Sadie to feel bad. She wants to have some kind of power. So she's like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and admit this. It wasn't only one time. We hooked up multiple times, multiple occasions, and Sadie just blamed it on the guy. And honestly, it's not looking too good for this friendship. It's probably not gonna last, man. The one you call your best friend can hurt you the most. So you gotta be careful about who you choose to be friends with and remain friends with. Honestly, if I had a friend that did some shit like Eve, I would never talk to that person again. Cause that person is selfish, narcissist, and those are the qualities of people you don't ever wanna be around, man. And with that said, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Don't know where it goes, but it's only me and I walk alone. I, I.